I remember when I was a young kid, I was terrified of loud noises, but I loved the trains and I wanted to be as close to them as I could without being scared by the sounds. And my mother would actually stand behind me and she'd hold her hands over my ears as I was holding them myself to, so I could be close, but still not be scared by the, the, you know, the exhaust valves and the whistles and everything. The main part of my job is to share our images with the public and try to make them as accessible as possible. People don't realize that they can actually come here and look through the photographs if they would like to. We're open to the public. My name is Haley Page and I work as the exhibitions and event coordinator for the center. We have an exhibition featuring Wallace Abbey opening up at the Groman Museum. Wallace Abbey's work is very fun to look through. He had a real focus on the human element of railroading. My name is Mary Abbey. I'm the daughter of Wallace W. Abbey. The story about my dad getting involved with railroading began in Waukini, Kansas, when he was about three or four years old and wandered down to the railroad station without telling anybody. That's where they found him, watching trains. I'm Kevin Keefe, and I'm a member of the board. I'm really hopeful that uh, not only books and magazines but other forms of print publishing will get better and better as we understand how important it is for print to do an excellent job on the production side. In other words, that's what sets print apart maybe from digital is great printing, great attention to detail, that sort of thing. And, I, and that's certainly what we try to do. My name is Inga Velton and I'm the development associate at the center. Maybe there's something in, in this digital age we're in that makes people more inclined to stop and look back at a time when, when we built these amazing projects by hand and paid attention to such details. Our board chair, Bon French, he's kind of the epitome of, of a great organizational leader. He's someone who gives of his time and his talents and resources. You know, someone who can trust you to make good decisions and lets you make mistakes, but it's always there to, to help out anytime there's, there's a need or even when there's not. It's the people, and so uh, it's a very professional group of people, it's, it's, a, it's a passionate group of people, and I really like the intersection of uh, the art world, if you will, the creative world, the photography world, with the world of railroading and the content and so forth. Uh, so that's the thing that I think makes this particular organization unique. And John Gruber, the center's founder, uh, reached out to me. I love the fact that it was an organization that was really looking at the visual culture of railroading. Scott's done a magnificent job with the center and with the conference and with the magazine and I look forward each month to getting my copy. So railroading, which has such a long history in the United States, the fact that there is such a devoted community behind it doesn't really surprise me. We are now uh, becoming the go-to place for these most outstanding uh, collections that uh, have been put together over the last 50 or 60 years. I mean, I had a friend ask me once if uh, I thought I'd ever get you know, bored of, of trains, and to me it just seemed like a, a silly question. Mm -hmm.